write a function to accept a list of numbers and a threshold number. The function should return a new list containing ones and zeros. The ith entry of the new list is 1. If the ith entry of the old list is greater than or equal to the threshold number and 0 otherwise. <clears throat> so let me explain this using an example. Suppose this is the given list. Suppose the threshold number is 5. How the new list is created? The first element of the given list is 10 and 10 is greater than or equal to the threshold number. So in the new list, the entry is 1. The second element of the given list is 2. 2 is less than the threshold number. So in the new list, the entry is 0. Again, the third element of the given list is 5. 5 is greater than or equal to equal to the threshold number. So in the new list, the entry is 1 and so on. So we need to create this new list and after creating the new list, do I need to display the answer or return the answer? Write a function to accept a list of numbers and a threshold number. Okay, so the function should return a new list. So after calculating the answer, the answer should be returned, not display. Okay, so let me create the function. How do you create functions? Start with the keyword def, followed by name of the function, followed by function symbol, followed by colon. Now, the list should be passed as an argument. The threshold number should be passed as an argument. For the list, a particular name is not mentioned in the question paper, which means you can give any suitable name. If you read the question, you can see. See, write a function to accept a list of numbers and a threshold number. So a particular name is not mentioned, which means you can give any suitable name for the list. Certainly, you should write a document string. Create a habit, okay, of writing document string. Now, how do you get each and every element of this list? You know the statement for i in L. You get each and every element of this list L. I contains each and every element. Now check whether I is greater than or equal to the threshold number. So if I greater than or equal to threshold number, what must come in the new list? One should be appended to the new list, isn't it? So let me create a new list. Is that O, 0, 1 dot append and 1 is appended to the list. Certainly very important, this must be given the initial value or this must point to empty list initially. Okay, that is very important. Otherwise, if it is not greater than or equal to the threshold number, what must come in the new list? Zero should be appended to the new list. Okay, so when this for loop finishes execution, your list is said O contains zeros and ones. After calculating the answer, the answer should be returned. Okay, for programming type of questions, step mark is there. So every step is important. The variable names, you can use appropriate variable names. One more. Write a function to find and display the sum of odd numbers present in a list. Okay, it is a list of numbers. You need to find the sum of odd numbers. Okay, how do you start the function? Start with the keyword DF followed by appropriate name for the function. A particular name is not mentioned in the question paper. You can write any suitable name followed by function symbol. Function header should end with a colon. What is the meaning of meaning of colon? Colon marks the beginning of the block of statements associated with this function. Ah, anyway, the list should be passed as an argument. Certainly, you should write document string. That's very important. Now, how do you get each and every element of L? You know the method. It is for I in L. You get each and every element of this list L. I contains each and every element. Now, check whether I is an odd number or not. How can you check whether I is an odd number? If I modulo 2 not equal to this is how you write not equal to in python exclamatory mark and equal to sign this is an operator known by the name not equal to so if i modulo 2 not equal to 0 meaning i is an odd number here you should write the code for finding the sum of odd numbers 
that we will do okay otherwise nothing to do pass means empty statement nothing to do now how do you write the code for finding the sum of odd numbers okay now if it is displaying odd numbers you can very well write print i print i means the odd numbers will be displayed but the question is find the sum of odd numbers i told you one trick in order to find the sum instead of displaying elements if you want to find the sum three steps are there what is step one the print statement should be replaced with the answer variable equals answer variable plus general term here the general term is i answer variable should be given the initial value zero and don't forget after calculating the answer you should display the answer so indentation is very important it is indented along with the for loop because only when the for loop finishes execution your answer variable contains the answer so outside for loop the answer should be displayed now if there is a doubt regarding this one i will post a video tutor and the video tutor explains how you get this one okay so just watch the video tutor you will understand so this is another sample program in fact function based on list